beautiful audience, very, very beautiful. <laughs> but I need your help. I, I feel like we've bonded. I feel we've come together. Now I can depend on you. I can. What I need from you this time is something you might find in your attic. Oh, darn it, Seattle. No attics in Seattle. Pardon? A machete. A machete. Goodness. What do you keep? And who do you keep in your attic? A machete. Now I need a place uh, anywhere in the world and the universe. Pardon? <laughs> Detroit? Do you a particular place in Detroit? The Renaissance Center. The Renaissance Center in Detroit. Okay. Now, I know you can do this. <laughs> Whenever you hear the word machete, I want you to go, bum, ba -dum bum Can you do that? Say, I went down the street and said, down, look, there's a machete. <laughs> Ooh, you guys are good. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Look. Somebody dropped their machete. Oh, oh, right, oh. this is exciting. <laughs> now, we lost our sound effects, so this is where we really come together. Whenever you hear someone that gives some, says something that needs a sound effect, like I walked across the creaky room, I need that. I need that sound. Like, oh, you've you've, you've practiced. You took one of those uh, LA. Uh, Local college courses, didn't you? Squeaky room noises. Uh, or let's say I put my lock in the key. Ah, ah, check it Put my key in the lock. Um, what other? Oh, I turn on my chainsaw. All right, thank you very much. We're now going to present to you Secret Asian Man. <laughs> December 1951. The summers were longer back then. And most nights are dark, I guess. But that wasn't the point. The point was I was in my office, alone, pacing around the office. Pacing, pacing. And he you. I walked out of my life. I was, uh, I hadn't had a case in a long time. I was listening to one of my favorite records. <laughs> Elvis's greatest hits. <laughs> the Japanese version. <laughs> At 16 speed. <laughs> Suddenly I heard a, a strange ringing sound. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I hung up the phone. Thank you. 
I jumped into my trusty 52 Buick and started it up. <laughs> that's how we started the first time, but that's how we did. I started going down the highway at lightning speed. Passing all the traffic. Suddenly I noticed I just glided past the police car. the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> I was kind of dizzy. I was hearing birds. <laughs> or or wedding bells. And suddenly, I noticed I was smack in the middle, middle of the Renaissance Center in Detroit, Michigan. I searched the first floor. And I came upon a, <laughs> a dead body with a machete stuck in it. <laughs> I'm the chief Asian man. I'm Johnny Parker. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing pantaloons <laughs> and listening to hot music. Well, it's kind of low right now. <laughs> uh, we turned it down since the murder happened. Uh, actually, I was wondering what pantaloons were. Here's this Renaissance part of the costume. Right. Now I hear the hot music. <laughs> ah. So, what can you tell me about this dead guy with a machete stuck in his back? <laughs> well, that he's dead and there's a machete stuck in his back. <laughs> Let me ask you a few questions. Yes, sir. <clears throat> what was your relationship with this man? Well, we dated a couple of times. You know, he was my boss, but nothing ever happened. We found we didn't like each other, had different signs. Uh, did he have any relatives? Uh, yes. Uh, what happened to him? Well, a couple went to Detroit, uh, the south side. Several went to... No, 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 what happened to him? Oh, him? Yeah. Well, it looks like he got stabbed with a machete in his back. Uh, was there anything unusual, like bothering him or anything at the time? I couldn't tell. Well, you can tell me I'm working on a case. <laughs> oh. Well, there was this big row. A big what? Row. A big row. 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 A row. Okay. And, uh, it was like a fight, except... More row light. Hey, I got you. Yeah, I got you. How about a sir? Oh, no thanks. I'm married. But you're a nice guy for asking. Did uh, 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 he have a girlfriend? Oh, yes, he did. A very nice girlfriend. Uh, how'd she look? Oh, she had one bad eye, so she kind of looked around like this. Do you have a phone number? Oh, yes, I do. Can you give her a call? Oh, sure. Hey, Francine! <laughs> I was confused, not as confused as he was. I had to step aside as he came strolling into the hotel. It was the most gorgeous thing I'd ever laid eyes on. <laughs> he was bounding around the lobby. <laughs> oh, and her lovely bee, beehive hairdos. Uh, what's your name? Francine. Francine, and do uh, uh, you know this guy? Yes. Uh, he, he was my boss. Your boss? You don't say. What time was he supposed to come in? She work? did say. I don't know. Okay, can you take a guess? Uh, about 10 o'clock. You can't take a guess until 10 o'clock? No. <laughs> in the meeting, he was going to give me a package. I think it was a machete. <laughs> I was going over my clues when suddenly I saw a raging rhinoceros. <laughs> She let out a huge scream! Ah! So I grabbed it and I stuck it on the dead guy. <laughs> Next to the machete, I see. <laughs> Did you have any problems with him? Any problems, you know, any grief, any gripes? Well, we had a little argument. Ah, what did you say? I said we had a little argument. <laughs> <laughs> I can see we're getting nowhere. Suddenly, <laughs> I had an idea. <laughs> I know who did it. You did it. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> and you did it. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was me. I loved him. We had an affair, and then I found out he was messing around again. So I, I took the machete. <laughs> and I put it in again. She was rambling, so 
I slapped it. Five times. <laughs> she goes fast, but I know that. Here's, here's my, uh, here's some handcuffs. Here's my hotel team. Get out of here. As for you. Yes, secret agent man. Thank you for solving the case of the murdered body with the machete in there. <laughs> Get out of here. Take him with you. Get the machete. Come on, we got another place to go, man, buddy. It was such a nice day, I figured I'd walk back to my office. As I... I looked up in the sky and I saw a 747. It was going down and it crashed right into a bingo parlor. You know, angry Chinese bingo players. Oh, well. Another game, another night, another case. Excuse me, I'd like to buy a stereo. <coughs> what uh, stereotype? What stereotype? <laughs> Just an American, my blood is red. You might see better with that sheet on your hands. 